<clears throat> Welcome to Tools Tech and Gear. I'm Seth. That move seemed a lot cooler in my head. All right, uh, today's video is gonna be the uh, Blue Eddy AC200P versus my refrigerator slash freezer. I wanna see how long this power station will run that in a, uh, a grid down or off grid situation. So uh, first of all, let me do a very quick, like one minute rundown on this Blue Eddy power station, and then we will stop the nonsense and go up and plug this up to my refrigerator. So, all right, real quick rundown of this power station. First of all, it weighs 60 pounds. This is the Blue Eddy AC200P. It's got a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter with six AC outlets. The battery is a 2000 watt hour lithium iron phosphate. On the DC side, it's got four USB type A's. It's got a single 60 watt USB type C. Over here, it's got a couple of barrel plugs, 12 volt, three amp. Up here, it's got your typical uh, car charging outlet. 12 volt, 10 amp. And over here is a 12 volt, 25 amp. You have to have a special cable for that. It's got a single power button right up here, which will turn the unit on. Let me bring you in a little closer so you can see what's going on here. On the main homepage, you've got your solar or your car input. You've got your AC input over here, the DC load, AC load. In order to turn those on, you click here, you press on. Now the DC is on. Click here, click here. Now the AC is on. You can go into the settings and you can adjust the AC voltage to either 100 volt or 120. You can do 50 hertz, 60 hertz. This right here is important. You gotta do DC input for either the solar or the car. And then echo mode on or off here. Up here on the top, it's got two wireless 15 watt cell phone chargers and it's got a handle on both sides. Right here, this is the AC adapter input. It can do up to about 411 watts. Over here is the uh, aviation plug. That's for both the car charger or the solar panels. This unit comes with the car adapter. It has the AC to DC power brick which is quite large, and it also has the aviation plug and also MC4 connectors. So let's go ahead and make sure this unit is fully charged before we go hook it up to the fridge. This power station can charge at about 385 watts with the AC adapter. It can charge at about 100 watts with the car and 800 watts with a solar. Now one super inconvenient thing to note about the AC adapter, it's not gonna charge unless you click the power button on. If it was solar, it would automatically turn on, plug and play, but for now, you have to press the power button to use the AC adapter. We've got 385, 390 watts coming in. So this should be from 97 to 100 in just a few minutes. I've stepped inside, I have the Blue Eddy right here, and this is my freezer and refrigerator combo. And uh, in a previous video, I had brought up my power cord up here to the top, so I can use an extension cord to plug this up out here. And then I've got my little uh, kilowatt meter to see how much um, power we have over time. So let me go ahead and step up here and plug up my extension cord. Now this unit does have these covers on it right here, so I'm gonna pop one of those off and see how well the kilowatt meter will fit in there. Hopefully that's decent. All right, let's turn this unit on here. Go ahead and plug the refrigerator up. And let's do AC on. Good, we've got uh, display here on the meter. So let me go real quick and do a reset on everything. Very good. All right, let's click the menu here. We've got, so zero kilowatt hours used. So currently it's showing 600 watts right here. Uh, the time is there. Let me go ahead and um, press time again on my stopwatch here. All right, so that'll give us the uh, overall time to see how long that's gonna take. I just wanted to show you this up close. It's got 588 watts currently on the fridge. I think I may open the fridge a time or two to kind of get things uh, a little warmer in there and then uh, just let this test go normally and uh, we'll see how long it will run my fridge off grid. All right, let's see. How about I grab a cheese stick and yeah, just a cheese stick. All right, cool. Okay, I'll bring you back in about an hour and we'll see what this unit is dropped down to. Almost 40 minutes in, the refrigerator and freezer has dropped down to 108 watts, 
which is a good thing. So we're at 87% uh, doing quite well. Right around the one hour mark, the compressor turned off here on the refrigerator and the watts dropped down to zero. So it is currently just resting and that means uh, not using any power. So that's definitely a good place for this to be to let this test run for a longer time. So 84% at an hour and two minutes. At five hours and 13 minutes, we're at 71% on the battery. So we still have quite a good while to go before the Blue Eddy is going to fail here at the refrigerator. All right, I'll be back in a little while to let you see some more. It's now been 21 hours and 21 minutes and the power station is down to 6%. So we are getting down to the very last bit. As we start using the refrigerator this morning for normal use, I feel like it's going to drop out pretty quick. The Blue Eddy has now dropped down to 1% and I'm noticing that the watts are at 36 watts. So whenever this thing hits about 1%, it starts to slow everything way down. We are at 22 hours and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this test right here. And uh, I think it did really well, almost getting one full day. We were not being conservative, just using this thing as normal and it seems to have uh, done quite well. The Blue Eddy AC200P ran my fridge and freezer combo for 22 hours and 15 minutes. The strange thing is it only used 1.15 kilowatt hours and this thing is rated at uh, 2000 watt hours. So I'm assuming that uh, lost kilowatt hour is because having the inverter turned on for that amount of time just uh, drains down that battery. So keep that in mind. Now I do believe had I not um, opened the refrigerator and freezer as I do in a normal day and been more conservative, this thing would have been able to last for 24 hours um, to keep that fridge and freezer going. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe for more content. And uh, I will place a link to this in the description down below if you want to check it out. I'm Seth with Tools Second Gear, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.